Hello and welcome to another edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. Uh, this week we are doing a breeding focus and the breeding focus is the South Saffron. The cavies in this video uh, were provided by Gary Taylor and Becky Long, Jason derulo Daly, and Misha McGinley. I'd like to thank you all for the support uh, in providing these pigs and the images uh, to help make this video. Thank you. The English Self Cavy Club is the specialist cavy club in the UK that caters for all the different colours of self. And today we're going to be focusing on the self saffron. In recent years, the colour of saffron has been a bone of contention. Uh, the standard says it needs to be a medium sand colour with the eyes pink, the ears pink, and the pads pink. Now, the background of this uh, slide is what the builders' merchants refer to as medium sand. So, this, I guess, is as close to the colour as we should be aiming for. So the colour ranges uh, in an acceptable range of what people determine to be medium sand colour. Uh, that aside, the saffron is a very large pig, can grow to a big size. You always see them on the show table, very imposing. They stand very well. They can be very typey pigs, just like the one in the video behind. And there's no reason why a uh, saffron can't compete for the absolute top honours in the open classes. With all selves, you want the undercolour to go right way down to the skin and match the top colour perfectly and for the coat to be free of flakiness. Uh, as you can see in this pig, it's uh, a very good example of good undercolour. They're a very easy breed to train and handle, and will adopt the show position once trained uh, properly uh, at ease. And as you can see, we can move this pig around and make him stand as we need to, to show off his absolute best attributes. I mean, it's a, a stunning uh, example of a saffron. As you can see, the head is just as wide as any other breed of self, um, and being a big pig uh, allows that head to grow even larger, which is uh, a, a good thing for the breed, and it just creates a very pleasing uh, pig to look at. It's always important to have good light when assessing the colour of saffrons. Um, I find uh, doing this in daylight uh, brings out the best, because in tungsten light it can make the pigs look quite yellow, um, so as a judge you also want to see them in natural light. You can see here they have no trouble putting on uh, weight on these pigs. They tend to distribute nicely around the shoulder, the chops and the rump. So as with all selfs, they do tend to go quite long in the body and long in the head at the teenager stage. So about that four to six, seven month old stage. And uh, you can gauge an idea of what the pig is going to be like. Um, so you can see all the attributes, you see the good ears, the good eyes, the good colour, the, the width of the muzzle starting to develop. But they do tend to stretch out and become quite long. This pig's developing very nicely, but you can see that he will fill out. And once he fills out like the adult, I'm sure he'll be a very useful pig. So younger saffrons tend to be a little darker and patchier as their colour clears. Uh, you can see these uh, four very glamorous, uh, well-trained boars. Um, their colour is just starting to shine through, so they're starting to lose that darker hue and clear into that nice medium sand colour which we're looking for. You can see on this baby uh, saffron that the colour is very dark uh, when they're first born. And this does lighten up very quickly as the, the pig grows and molts through uh, from its baby coat. This little group here are also uh, literally a few days old, and again, they're looking very dark, uh, towards the darker end of the spectrum of the colour that's acceptable. But I assure you this does clear very quickly and uh, the pigs molt out into the proper sand colour. And the saffrons breed true, so you can breed a saffron guinea pig to another saffron guinea pig and you will get 100% saffrons in the litter. They're easy to breed with very few complications during birth and they're able to raise large litters on their own uh, without any uh, intervention required. You can see here they're very good eaters. Um, you'll have no trouble putting weight on these guinea pigs as long as they're fit and healthy and you follow a good diet. Uh, the breed is readily available and there are lots of breeders all over the country. And I would recommend uh, joining the English South KV Club and reading the Cavies magazine uh, to find out who the top breeders are and they can put you in contact with those people. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'm Guinea Pig Greg. Goodbye.